Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use cardboard to mold objects. Today I'm just going to be molding these two simple objects, the circle and this vase. But in later tutorials, I will show you how to mold a larger object and something with more details. And these are the supplies that you need. So you need some cardboard, just a card. I'm just using a big cardboard box. If you're going to be molding something big, you need a big cardboard box. If you're going to be molding something small, you need a small cardboard box. You need the objects that you're going to be molding and something to hold the cardboard on. I'm going to be using rubber bands to hold the cardboard on, but you can use whatever you have around. You could use pieces of fabric if it's a large object. You also need something to soak the cardboard in. If you're going to be molding a large object, you could use a tub. I'm just going to be using a sink since I'm using smaller pieces of cardboard for these objects. Okay, really quick, you also need to kind of break it down into smaller pieces. So just kind of tear it into sections, and I'm doing that so I can fit it in my sink. So the best thing to do really is to fill up your container, whatever you're putting water in, and then just put the cardboard in and let it soak. And what's gonna happen is all of these pieces are gonna separate. I only let this soak for maybe 15 minutes and I just push it around with my hands. And as you can see, the layers of cardboard will slowly start to peel away. When that starts to happen, that means your cardboard is getting to the point where you can mold it around the objects. The thinner pieces of cardboard are gonna give you a little bit more detail than the other pieces. So the next thing you want to do is grab the objects that you're molding, wrap the cardboard around it, and seal it with your... I'm, I'm using rubber bands just to keep the cardboard where I want it. You might need to use more, you might need, might need to use less. If it's really humid where you are, it may take longer for these to dry. If it's really dry, it may take just overnight. In this one, I put a glass in it just to keep these pieces of cardboard down. So now let me show you what has happened after the cardboard has dried. So you just take your rubber bands off. And the cool thing with cardboard is you can take it off and then it should go right back into the shape it was. So you try to find the pieces that are on the very, very outside and slowly just start pulling them away. And you do have to be careful because it will rip. And slowly pull your object out and you should be able to put this back together. You know I could choose to take some of these pieces off that I don't need. We've just taken that flat piece of cardboard and made it round. If you take more time you can get it smoother on all sides. And now let's see what this vase looks like. And there we have our nice vase. So this is a square object we've just molded with our cardboard and then here is a round object. So those are two simple examples of this technique. So then in the next tutorial I'll be posting next month, I'll show you how to, to use cardboard to mold a larger object and then an object with more details. Also remember that sometimes you might have just stuff lying around that you think is garbage but you can use it to make something else. So have a wonderful day, we'll see you around on YouTube. And I'm also going to show you pictures of the example that my student did with a whole skeleton. Thank you.